Okay, um, we've got a slide up there. Yes, you like that? Not bad, son. 2.1 billion friends on Facebook already. My atheist uh, uh, mentor boy gave me that for Christmas. But, you know, that's less than one-third of the population, so we've got some work to do. And this morning I want to look at the importance of faith and where it comes from. And just want to say that faith comes from hearing the word of God. You know, in these last days, we need to know God's promises, live our lives to proclaim them, and don't procrastinate, but always be prepared to give an answer for the hope that's in us. Romans chapter 10, we're going from there, verse 13. As the scripture says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord for help will be saved. But how can they call on him for help if they have not believed? And how can they believe if they have not heard the message? And how can they hear? if the message is not proclaimed? And how can the message be proclaimed if the messengers are not sent out? As the scripture says, how wonderful is the coming of messengers who bring good news. We all want to get good news, don't we? But not all have accepted the good news. Isaiah himself said, Lord, who has believed our message? So then, faith comes from hearing the message And the message comes from preaching Christ. So the first thing we need to see here is a promise. It's God's promise. Everyone who calls on the Lord for help will be saved. That's the message we have and we've got to take that out. Um, Calls out means to be entitled, to invoke. We are invoking God's promises when we call out to God. It's not an intellectual response. It must be um, out of... um, calling out to God with the very fibre of every fibre of our being. Uh, Faith empowers the world and enables us to call on the name of Jesus. Faith empowers the word and enables us to call on the name of Jesus and entitles us to invoke the promises of God because we believe them. That's the... I've got to keep going. Peter, let the people out of the net. But you said go to fish for people. Okay. So how can they believe... If, they're not heard, if they've not heard the message? And how can they hear if the message is not proclaimed? And how can the message be proclaimed if a messenger is not sent out? I did push the button. Uh, to hear the message, we need people who will proclaim the message. Um, and to believe means to have faith in, but it also means to put in with. In other words, we put our lot in with Jesus and his plan to save the world. So who told you about Jesus? Who actually told you when you really, really believed, when you really, really heard? Who was it? Was it a friend? Was it a parent? Maybe a pastor or just someone at work? Who was that? Um, You know, I'd been touched several times when I went to church um, in the first year when Charlie Mailing belted out his sermons, but it wasn't until the Billy Graham crusade at the end of that year, 1969, that I believed and actually responded to Jesus. You know, many people believe but they don't respond to Jesus. They believe up here. As I, yeah. See, my heart cry when I responded to Jesus for help at the crusade entitled me uh, to invoke the promises of God to save me. Wow, that's awesome. Because <laughs> it's in our hands to respond to God and then he gives us everything. So procrastination, every Christian is called and sent. I think we all agree about that. Um, uh, um, but, you know, we have to have that heart of Jesus to proclaim the message. And that is believing that God and believing in God and calling on his name for help. But it doesn't stop there. We must proclaim the good news about Jesus and not procrastinate. Man, I can't even get this stuff, give this stuff away. And what is it? It's the good news about God. Well, that can be true. But not all have accepted the good news. Isaiah himself said, who believed our message? Who has believed our message? So then faith comes from hearing the message and uh, the message comes through preaching Christ. Verse 17 sums up what Paul was talking about here, that Jesus is the message. Faith can only come into our lives as we hear and perceive the truth about Jesus, who is our saviour and what he did for us. To be born a human, to live a sinless life, to pay the price on the cross for our sins and to be raised from the dead on the third day. Day, But not everyone will believe that, and you already know that if you've tried to share your faith. But don't be discouraged. There's no time for procrastination as far as sharing the message is concerned. What's wrong, Jesus? 
You said you wanted a church for your birthday. Oh, yeah, I did. But I'm having trouble getting them out of the box. <laughs> uh, is Jesus able to get you out of the box? Or should, or should I say out of the church um, to share your faith with the unsaved? Um, it's sad that we feel so self-conscious, embarrassed or uh, unwilling to share our faith because of what others might think of us. Let's repent of that and move on. And uh, let's let your faith be bigger than your fears. And we need to be prepared. Please understand that we must be prepared to share the gospel in season and out of season. That means any time. Um, and because you might be the only one who has the opportunity to share with that one, that with someone. So can I encourage you to go for it? Faith comes from hearing the message and the message comes through preaching Christ. Uh, faith means remembering God's promise, proclaiming Jesus, no procrastination, but being prepared to share in Jesus' mission. Thanks, Lane.